to, I always say to the Holy Spirit, take me to the movies, take me to the movies, and, and um, they came out with a remake of uh, Romeo and Juliet. And so I thought, oh, this ought to be a good one, going to see Romeo and Juliet, because I hadn't seen it for a while, other than like a stage play, and, uh, and uh, I, what's her name, Claire or something, played in it, uh, she, she played... What's her name? Danes? Yeah, it? Claire Danes. Yeah, she played Juliet. And was Leonardo in that one? Yeah, Leonardo, I think, played Romeo. And I remember watching the movie as it's going on and just watching, watching it, and this whole scenario about these two young lovers and trying desperately to unite, and then all the obstacles with their families and all the obstacles of the world trying to prevent them. Uh, from being allowed to fall in love, and then in the end, you know, uh, I guess I think it's Romeo comes and and thinks thinks that Juliet has killed herself, and and then the heartbreak of getting there too late and 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 Juliet being dead, and then he thinks he must do the only thing that he can think of to unite with her. <laughs> is to kill himself. I mean, I was just like, oh man, is this, this is the ego thought system carried out in the most bizarre way. The only way we will show eternally be together is I will die. And then the whole thing with, she's not dead. You know, it's just another <laughs> trick, another death trick and everything. But that, I remember I left the theater, I was just so high, I was like, whoa, that's like total exposing. And it does remind me of that, I love that movie, uh, I think my all-time forgiveness movie is George Clooney's Solaris. And that line that Dandy quoted the other day, Though lovers be lost, love shall not, and death shall have no dominion. It's a great line from a poet, you know, that's, that's the whole theme of the movie. That that's what forgiveness is about, that the ego made up all these, made up the world, made up the bodies, and it makes up this kind of romantic bodies that fall in love and, and, and the live happily ever after as the movie ends. And they never show you, they never show you the happily ever after. <laughs> that's why you could come up with sequels in your mind of like, what we were talking about. Still breathing and hold, hold, still holding her breath or whatever, and you know, and all these things because, because what is this happily ever after except, in the end, forgiving the ego in your mind and seeing the world forgiven and having a happy dream, you know that's, that's happily, but it's not even even that's not ever after. J Jesus says that God will take the final step. All you have to do is get it back to the happy dream, and. God will get you home from there, but your responsibility is just to have a happy dream. You don't wake up from nightmares, you wake up from happy dreams. And, and what is a happy dream except a, a dream of non-judgment? Except experiencing the world without judging our brothers and sisters. That's happy, you know. Then it's like a happy dance, you know, everybody can dance, you're, it's like there's a sense of joy and collaboration and support. And just a happy dance, like happy feet, you know, happy dance there. So, to me that's, you know, you see the insanity of the ego's version, and then, you know, you go for the, the reality of the spirit. And in the end, you know, marriage is, is union, but union is, is of, is the spirit, you know, we can't, we can't make a form, you know, that's going to take the place of that spirit, and in the end we just finally give up, trying, you know. And all of our thoughts of wanting anything, you know, things that we're guided to are given step by step, but the idea, in the end, we, we can actually let go of, of all wants, and experience wholeness and completion. <laughs>